Hey. Rare? Yo. Uh, hey. uh, this is uh, Ghost Runner. Second one. Let's go. <laughs> Do you want to present the game? What? Do you want to present the game? Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is the Ghost Runner? Two? Two? Yeah. Not the first game. No. So it's a, it's a movement uh, 3D platformer, hack and slash, not like a combat game. Mm -hmm. You jump around, you dash, you kill enemies. Very fast paced game. Yeah. If you played the, the first game, there's a block button now and there's a stamina bar where uh, all your dashes now cost stamina. So you can't really spam them the same way. Mm. But like, what's, what's a dash? You go forward. And like you can, if you dash in the air and hold it, you can like go around like they showed us in the tutorial right there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do that a lot, right? Slow down time. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's me. This, yeah. <laughs> Going fast. You're doing that right now. <laughs> the speed run? Yeah. As you can probably tell, he's skipping like actually so much of each level right now. Oh yeah, it's, I'm explaining things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many like small arenas that you normally have to do throughout each level to actually progress and open doors. But this game is incredibly like just open. You can just go. Like you have a bunch of wall running and jumping and the different skills that you can do to move around the terrain, and you can just do that anywhere. Like you can wall run pretty much anywhere. You can see a wall, even places that are probably not intended. So you can almost instantly go out of bounds and go to areas you're not at all supposed to go. Yeah, there's quite a few, like, oops in this game. It's unrestricted. That's the category. We should have maybe said something. I don't know. But it's unrestricted. Yeah. I can do whatever I want except for, like, the three tricks that are banned because they're FPS dependent. Unlike the rest of this game. Oh yeah, the rest of the game is totally not yeah. FPS dependent. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the base movement I'm doing is I'm doing uh, something called a DSJ, a dash slide jump where I'm dashing, and then I'm sliding, and then I'm jumping, and I go zoom. Mm -hmm. And uh, my stamina bar is out. Yeah. Which is and great here. And occasionally something you can also do is if you do it over a ledge, you can SDSJ, which is super. Yeah. You have a DSJ. Which, uh, even faster, you go even further, and it's great. Yeah, so whenever you uh, go off an edge, you get a tiny boost whenever you slide off an edge. So if you do that while doing a DSJ, you go zoom, like, real far, mm -hmm. which, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, fast, mm -hmm. good. But uh, apart from that, I'm also doing uh, restarts, insta-restarts, which is, uh, I just press R on my keyboard whenever the little symbol in the top left shows me a checkpoint. Yeah, that's good for like two things. Not only does it immediately refresh your stamina, so if you can sort of time it well, you'll just be at the exact same spot that you already were, except now you have full stamina. And for certain arenas, it'll just put you right in front of where the exit is. So when you've killed all the enemies, you just restart, and you just get teleported to where the door is. They just, like right there, you just go to the door. Yeah, and that was the first level. Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, a lot of these levels will just fly by in an instant, but uh, we're already right here at the first boss, Aramon. Yeah, he's a... Uh, greatest boss. Yeah, so on yeah, this guy, if you're just on his left side, I don't have enough mouse space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, this, I knew this Dude, do you need another table for more mouse space? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm moving, I'm moving. No, I, I, I can't, there's a, there's a bump. Yeah, Yisk, uh, I told him about this strat about putting the keyboard on your lap yesterday, and now he insists it's great. <laughs> it feels so, it, it's so nice. Yeah, I don't know what's if, there. if you say so. <laughs> but yeah, this boss, you just spin around him, and he just doesn't do anything. Except there. Except there. But then you have an ability where you can just stun him, so if you mess it up, you can just... Oh, he's gone. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Style points. Yeah. So that was the first boss, that was Mm-hmm. Uh, there are actual like bosses in this game now where you have to slash them a bunch of times and you can also like parry some of their attacks with uh, pressing E at the right time. Mm. Or parry. Block? Block, Block yeah, yeah. Which is not bound to E by default, but... Uh, what is it by default? Uh, right mouse button. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, so here we're in the hub world, which is sort of in between each mission. You can go and talk to a bunch of NPCs and you can also do some shopping, which is what he's doing now. So he's using points that you get throughout each level to buy a bunch of skill points. Yep. And then you can sort of organize them in a different pattern in the 
skills menu tab, which will give you certain oh, bonuses if you arrange them in a certain way. So these characters look very healthy in <laughs> their skin tones. Yeah, so we're playing, because this game has like quite a few oobs, where it's uh, very dark, we're playing on max brightness. Yeah. So everything just looks kind of weird. Yeah, most people just kind of look sickly. <laughs> yeah. Like they've uh, not seen the sun for quite a while. <laughs> I mean, it is like a cyberpunk dystopian city, so I guess it checks out. Yeah, but surely they would have like thought of that, right? When they made the tower? Yeah, making natural sunlight indoors? Yeah. Right? No, I swear this was a plot point in the first game. It's <laughs> Maybe? Prob probably. <laughs> Alright, so this is, what, the third level? And you probably saw at the very beginning, he instantly went out of bounds. You've now skipped an entire section. And now we're going to immediately go out of bounds again. Just flying through walls because again you could wall run almost anywhere but the walls are not everywhere so a lot of sections you can just kind of immediately go to here like right here he's running on the outside of a, a pipe <laughs> <laughs> and just yeah traversing on effectively the outside of the level to bypass a pretty decent portion of the map actually. yeah like a quite a large arena where i'm doing stuff left side uh oh no, 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 we're, we're, uh, we're yeah, balling. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. oh, he's so crazy. I'm so oh, good. so good. That saves maybe, what, 10 seconds? No. Five seconds? Less. <laughs> Five seconds max? Yeah. When you do those uh, SDSJs, um, they're pretty hard to pull off, like, really consistently. So for a lot of them, you have to do them really precisely to get the exact amount of speed that you need to make it over large gaps. And that was one of them. And uh, yeah. thankfully, he's insane. Oh, never mind. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I didn't catch it, so I was like, yeah, I'll respawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, respawning right here is fine. Yeah. This, this is, next bit is a. Uh, this a is the nice worst bit. part of the entire run, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Uh, this it, is like a, what, 30 second long bit where you don't get any check? Uh, more like a minute. A minute? Yeah. Where like, you don't. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to say pretty much exactly what you said. <laughs> yeah. You go about a minute not getting a checkpoint, traversing just in a straight line throughout the level. You're supposed to sort of like snake to the left and right and pick up a lot of checkpoints and fight a lot of enemies and do a bunch of cool stuff. But because it's unrestricted, we can just uh, die here. Never mind. That was uh, not what I was supposed to do. Yeah, he's trying to save it right now. But thankfully, you can sort of do these wall runs that you can actually chain together infinitely because you regenerate more stamina than you use when you're doing these sort of like upwards wall climbs. So you can go pretty far. Yeah. This is, uh, surely I recover this every day. Yeah, 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 it's fine. I mean, it's better to recover this than to have to do oh, it yeah. again. There we go. Yeah, 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 there you go. Easy. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that before, like, I actually got there. Yeah, it'll be fine. Are you going for the wall? I'm gonna, I'm gonna baby strat here. Oh, my hero. And then, uh, this is extra baby strat, you pick up a checkpoint. Oh, the checkpoint too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> if you mess up that jump, you just lose, uh, like, go a minute. two minutes back in time? <laughs> it's, like, not even that hard of a jump, but for some reason, like, it's... It's quite bad. Yeah. So here is uh, the ability Flux, which lets us snipe enemies from afar. Yeah, you it's get like that from collecting all these little, like, orange... Not orange, purple, uh, chip cards. Yeah. Of the game, which gives you a bunch of upgrades that you can use on both skill points and stuff, but it gives you Flux, which is one of the ultimate abilities. Yeah, so the ultimate abilities are, uh, there's Flux, there's uh, Sensory Overdrive, and there's Link. Those are the three we unlock in any percent. And apart from Flux and Link is used once, but apart from that, like, nothing's really that useful. And then there's the end, end level trigger right there, for some uh, reason. Very nice skip. Yeah, so that saves like a 20-ish second cutscene that we have to watch otherwise. Mm. And that was setting the stage, third level. In the back, more menuing, more NPCs, more sickly looking people. Mm, I love talking to NPCs. <laughs> so this for, uh, fourth level, Akristen, there's the, those guys that are introduced. Uh, what are they, hammer guys? Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch. Also the dual sword guys also get introduced here, I think. There's yep. a bunch of different enemy types. Like, the, be the game begins with just the uh, the standard pistol boy, but then slowly introduces more enemies with more advanced attack patterns that you need to sort of dodge around. Yeah. So there we did a little little cheeky skip to get Oob, where we uh, 
enter a door and make it like close and unload the area behind us and then we just jump out of the door. For, yeah, we go out of the door. Yeah, for the subway you're supposed to go around to like three different locations and uh, go into a bunch of uh, cyber void terminals, but you can already from the very beginning, like he is now, go out of bounds and just sort of <laughs> skip the sections between each terminal and just go directly to each of them. Yeah. So on the first uh, terminal we're just skipping out and then going all the way to this one, which saves like a, a nice yeah. maybe 15-20 seconds. Behind. Like it's a, yeah, it's a nice, there, yeah. nice little cheeky amount of time save. So these terminals, uh, this is the Cyber Void. So the first game had Cyber Void like puzzles, where you had to figure stuff out and then you usually got an ability afterwards. In this game, Cyber Voids don't really work the same way. They're more just extra areas where you do either fun movement or just like actually a normal level. Like there's an entire level that's just Cyber Void later. Yeah. And it's so good. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's my favorite. I mean, this one is just collect the balls and go through the gate. Yeah, so there's a there's a time limit, apparently. Yeah, uh, but it's it's pretty hard to actually not make the time limit. To be yeah. Fair, so you just get extra time whenever you pick up an orb mm. or a ball. Orb. I mean, you are balling, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Alright, that was the first terminal, so we're gonna make our way to the other two here. Uh, you're normally just supposed to grind this rail, but it's slightly faster to just do a bunch of movement on the train here as opposed to just grinding the entire way, so... It's all about just making use of the terrain as much as you can. Like here, there's... You're supposed to, you know, grind some rails, do some wall jumps, do these grappling points and stuff, but you can, for the most part, skip it if you just go really, really quickly. I, uh, I've never actually gone over that. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, this just brings you, like, straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, because this is a good time to jump in for some donations. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Sure, Fantastic, because we people are going absolutely crazy with this. They've already taken four hundred and ten dollars of Skemmy's money right now. That's good. We like that. We have a forty dollar donation from ISO one hundred and seven, which becomes eighty dollars. It says, "Get on it." Ten dollars from the Yisk Fan Club, who says, "Go Yisk," and we also have forty dollars, which becomes eighty. From Big Al, he says, so excited for ESA Winter 2024. There's still just under $600 of Skemmy's money that you can go and claim right now. Get your donations in. Yeah. Shout out the Yusuf Fan Club. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, this is what second cyber world. Uh, this time gravity is much much lower, so you can do a bunch of even like higher and longer jumps. They're pretty cool, so you can skip. Like you're supposed to run on some walls over here, but if you just oh, what, that guy just dodged both shurikens. No, he dodged one, and I missed the other. Ah, like, I see. <laughs> usually, they they don't really dodge them anymore. <laughs> like I don't know why. They're just sort of chilling usually. Mm, yeah. When you're really far away, but ah. Yeah, for the most part, you have these like extra abilities apart from the ultimate, like the shurikens, <laughs> where it also <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have like a bunch of abilities where the shuriken is one of them, where normally you have to throw one, which they will always dodge usually, but if you throw an immediate like follow up one, that one usually gets them. Yeah, because so they're already like in the dodging animation, so they can't dodge again. Exactly. You can also use it to like hit these gates, and some enemies, it just stuns instead of killing, so you can grapple to towards them and then kill them. Hmm. Okay, another two enemies here. There's the laser robot and then the uh, ground pound guy. So there, we utilize Flux to more or less clear an entire room with just one smooth blast, only leaving like, what, one enemy at the end there, so... You're supposed to not leave any, but uh, it's very hard. Yeah. The Flux laser, like, moves faster the higher your frame rate, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I remember when you when you were learning this game initially, you were running on your own PC back home, where you get, what, 30 FPS or something uh, like no, that? No, 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 like 40. Oh, okay, 40. okay, yeah, 40 FPS. And you kept wondering, how can people move their mouse so fast? Yeah, like, doing, wh are they doing are the, something whoa, different? Whoa, high, am I doing higher wrong? sensitivity, like increased DPI? I, I tried that. <laughs> <laughs> you increased my DPI to like 16,000? Didn't work. Get a bind that like swaps between sensitivities every time? Yeah, raise the sensitivity in the game to like 100. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> But that was the third cyberoid on this level, and the final cyberoid, thankfully, where we just uh, shot some orbs, balls, 
balloon? Balloons, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're balloons. Those are definitely balloons. They are. I feel like they're sort of like those Chinese lanterns. Oh yeah, the ones that like fly away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, what yeah. they look like. But uh, we shoot those with shuriken, and then we shoot that guy, because otherwise he like snipes you in the back. And oh, yeah. Usually it's fine, but... Yeah, enemies will absolutely snipe you in this game. They they just have like beyond CSGO cheater aim. <laughs> like yeah, it's, yeah. it's insane. You'll be 50 miles away and they'll somehow find the trajectory to just hit you midair every yeah, time. You'll be moving like at top speed and then they just snipe you out of nowhere. Yeah, they're absolutely insane. What do you? This is definitely one of those games oh. where when you're playing it casually for the first time, you just keep getting sniped by the same bozo enemy <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. And then when you mix in like advanced enemies like the robots and a bunch of the other guys, it just gets really, really punishing. <laughs> Great fun. Let's get to it. So yeah, now we're back to this cyber void because like originally, we uh, got to a point where we couldn't really progress. So we were just like picked this uh, hacker woman up. And now we can keep going. Mm -hmm. Finish the cyber void. I don't know what route I'm doing. I feel like I don't usually do that. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, as long as you're not falling in the pit, you're fine. Yeah. Did I just see like a huge donation roll in? You did indeed. We're still waiting for it to come through through validation. But what I can give you, Major Undead has donated $200. Oh. Which with the donation match, it becomes $400. Oh. No comment on that one, but thank you so, so much for that donation. We also had earlier on $100 from Demon Fire. Again, donation match to $200. That's huge. Thank you. So yeah, now we're just gonna kill enemies here, respawn warp over here, and then we have these guys, the the cultists. Oh yeah, that was a, that was a beautiful axe spike. <laughs> yeah, that was perfectly done. <laughs> Those guys with the uh, the laser whip, are they called cultists? Yes. The okay. I, I call them that. I don't know if that's what they're actually. I just call them the laser boys. Yeah. Either way, they have like two sort of whips that they fly or fling at you, which um, they sort of go at you in a horizontal angle. So even if you dodge decently early, they can adjust their aim so it's an entire angle that they sort of cover whenever they attack you. It can be really frustrating to dodge. Yeah, so they either like whip horizontal or they... Some of them whip vertical, I swear. Hmm. I don't think we're going to see one of those in this uh, run. So we skip a lot of this. Is it this level? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you do. So here's another whip boy. Take him out first, just to not have to deal with him. Another robot guy, a shuriken, or a jump pad. <laughs> Hurricane for the explosion. Nice. Very nice. There's also a lot of small things in the levels that you can sort of use to your advantage. In the first few levels, there's a bunch of billboards that you can pull down to squash enemies. There's also a bunch of explosive barrels that you can shoot your shuriken at to like take out one or more enemies at the same time at a really long distance, which is really, really nice. And this, uh, this trick, uh, all of a sudden, hardest trick in the run. Yeah, that was... Uh... <laughs> oh, that was so good. Oh... Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. No worries. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. <laughs> also, this wall right here just doesn't exist. Hell yeah. Yeah, just like a puzzle you're supposed to do, you can just go through the wall next to it. Yeah. This entire level, you're supposed to go out of your way to find a uh, an extra ability that allows you not only to go invisible, but like create copies of yourself. So you can leave the copy in specific locations to sort of do some puzzle elements, but you we just completely skip that because by just going fast enough, you can just skip puzzles. Yeah, thanks to the movement in this game being like really good, you can just skip most puzzles by moving. So by doing like DSJs and SDSJs and going oob, you can skip uh, just getting the ability and save like, I don't know, a good amount of time? Yeah, a ton of time, honestly. Although, even if we do skip a bunch of these skills, like the, uh, the shadow one, you actually get them automatically later, because we're going to use it towards the end of the run as well. Yeah. On a single occasion, at least. So, even if you skip it in the level, you just receive it automatically later in the game because the game just assumes, ah, oh, you did the level, so surely you have the ability. Yeah, which is really nice because uh, it's kind of necessary for some later levels as well. This is a uh, oh, it's climb. Uh, new new climb just dropped. Really hard. Oh yeah, hardest strat. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. There we go. Who See found you. this? Uh, I don't know. You? No. No, not me. Not you. No. I thought you were trying to tell me you found this. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No. You just lied to me, I guess. Did I? I never said You that. kept saying I found this while you were doing this level. No. 
Stop lying. <laughs> Stop lying. <laughs> Ready I... to get called out by the community? Like, oh, can I get called out? <laughs> gonna get called out by you, apparently. <laughs> what is this like? I uh, had to. I fell down there, so I had to back it up by doing some climbs. Otherwise, I had to respawn, which is like, ah, I, I'd rather not do that. Yeah. Then we go back inbounds. This game works a lot on triggers, where you pick up a checkpoint to load in like the next area, so you can pick up another checkpoint. So you have to go back inbounds a lot and like pick up random triggers sometimes, mm -hmm. but it becomes really apparent, especially in the later levels, where there's one where you constantly have to go in and out of bounds to hit triggers and stuff just to be able to make the level progress. Also, yeah. there's one that's incredibly vertical, where you think you just, you know, go out of bounds and go straight up, but because there's sort of a death floor almost between each floor, if that makes sense, you have to find your way to, like, sneak through the death floor to make it to the next level, go up, find your way around the death floor, get to the next level. Yeah, so here's another Flux Arena. We're just gonna... Zap all of them. Boom. Oh, clean. Every single one of them. Yeah, and then just respawn warp to the end, and... You're too slow! Boom. So now, a quick one. Quick one indeed. Altea donated $80 and claimed both the ESA Winter shirt and the Goose Butch shirt on that one. Very nice. So that's behind the curtain. That was pretty all right. Mm -hmm. Except for some... Uh, some backups, but that's pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, here comes a, uh, a really cool level, actually, which is like basically also the second boss fight, but just over an entire uh, level called uh, You Shouldn't Have Peaked, where you have to fight this uh, AI guy in the, uh, the cyber world. But it's, it's kind of like a long chase sequence where you have to sort of hunt down specific parts of him. Like you'll see here, he's about to attack his like, ghost counterparts, I guess. All these images here, you have to kill a certain number of them. And then after you've killed a certain number, then it will transition into the next phase of the boss fight where all the platforms will start falling down. Should be here, phase yep, two. there you go. So you start falling down and then you need to start jumping between platforms to kill the remaining ghosts. Yeah, you're sort of supposed to use these uh, wormholes behind you to like teleport. Mm -hmm. And if you fall down here, you also just go back up to the top, thankfully. Yeah. Otherwise this would be so annoying. Oh yeah, if you actually had to jump between the platforms? Yeah, and it, use like, the portals, if you fell, yeah. it's just bad. But yeah, these guys take like four years to spawn in. And here, you can do some real game of threats and chain them all together. Nice, very nice. That was, that was clean. Ooh. Hard trick coming up here. Really hard one. Yeah, for some reason, this is like kind of difficult. Uh, yeah. Yeah, here he's going to do an SDSJ off of this top wall right here, where he's going to go all the way to the left outside of the intended map. And then you can kind of see it, below the floor that he's currently on, like way down below, is a floor that you actually get to way further in the gauntlet, like that floor that you see down there. What he's trying to do is jump around the death floor that's around him right now and sort of come come in from uh, from above, skipping a, a longer part of this like boss gauntlet area. Ah, yeah. But, but it is really precise. It's kind of hard. Like, I don't even think you need an SDSJ. I think a DSJ just works fine, usually. But it's you're doing it on a very small platform, yeah. And like for some reason, whenever you're doing like a marathon run or whatever, it turns really hard, and then you start practicing it, and you get it like ten times out of ten. Like that's not gonna work. Mm. Let's see, there we go. Should be good. Yeah, I'm also turning around and doing something uh, that was in the first game, and I I haven't tested if it's in this game. It's called S tapping. So. This full placebo strats, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> my favorite strats. <laughs> if you tap S while like in the air and going backwards, you go further in the first game. Hmm. So maybe that's a thing. I don't know. It feels like it, it feels like if it comes. Better. I mean, if it feels fast, it is fast. Yeah. Exactly. Also, here you're skipping a bunch of these like platforms that you're supposed to jump on by just simply just going way too fast. Like all these lasers are supposed to be coming at you, but you're just almost going past them before they even have any chance to hit you. Yeah, and here we're going to use a mechanic that uh, I have done, but I haven't explained. It's called rail boosting, where whenever you jump off a rail, you sort of have coyote time. So you can jump again and get more height, which lets you get onto that platform earlier, which lets you uh, skip that laser cycle and save like cheeky, uh, I don't know, seconds. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hello? Oh, don't skip so fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, right for this section, or this entire map, effectively, he's been doing this thing where he swaps between platforms. So you turn one on, and then that switches another one off. So you're constantly between each jump here doing that. Oh, 360. Uh, <laughs> screenshot that. <A> screenshot? <laughs> uh, what's the F12? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see the skip bar now. Am I skipping? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was you shouldn't have peaked. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna do some dialogue. So like a uh, donation or two. Yeah, fantastic. We've had loads coming in. You're taking all of Skemmy's money right now. Eight hundred and eighty dollars of thousand taken. Nozu donates so. twenty five dollars, becomes fifty. No comment on that, but thank you very much. And Tombo donates ten dollars, says Goons be Gooning. Thank you very much, Tombo. And one last one, well, Eris well. donates ten dollars, says Go yet. fast, yes. It's been a real treat watching you practice relentlessly for the past months. It's truly impressive no, to witness this level of dedication. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I try quite hard. Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah. this level is uh, like really long and really hard. Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna go oob here at the start. Go up here. Oh, I have no stamina. We're chilling. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. And then down here to the right, there's normally like a giant arena where you're supposed to do like several different waves of enemies that come at you and fight them in long, one long like arena gauntlet. Or you can just go through here and just skip the level. And that was level. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, that's absolutely the shortest level in the entire game. Oh, they just put the end right next to the start, basically. Yeah. You and Connor. There we go. So now we get Tempest, which is a really good ability. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> that's what he does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just because he does it doesn't mean you have to do it. <laughs> so yeah, now we're into... Uh, oh, I don't remember what this is called. Uh, in the wounds, thank you, top yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Truly the MVP. <laughs> so this was the demo level, if you played the demo to this game, which I'm sure everyone has. It was free, and like, this game's sick. Mm. This was the level you got to play. You, uh, you do a bunch of... ...dashing around, kill these guys, which is like, genuinely the hardest part in this level. Yeah. Hot take, like, those guys, they're the easiest, the, 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 like, the, the grunt, goons, the actual grunt the goon bozos. enemies, yeah. yeah. And they're just, like, they hit you, and you die. They're just done, you just go super far back. And, like, you always cry because they're so, like, slow, and they die in one hit, and their wind-up is five years. But, like, for some reason, they just, I don't know. Alright, here, use Flux again, kill that laser guy, and then use these two barrels to... Get this entire arena, boom boom. Also, one thing you kind of see him do almost all the time is anytime there's a little like grappling hook point, he does a little sword slash that cancels the uh, the grappling animation. Because normally you do like an entire animation where you do like a shoot the rope and then pull yourself in. But if you do a slice like almost instantly as you do it, you can just skip that animation. Please, sir. Oh. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of the arenas you have to wait for the NPCs that are just some kind, sometimes yeah. just chilling. Sometimes hanging they just decide to like uh, jump. Flex on you, do some ninja moves. Yeah. I wish I could do those ninja moves. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, every time I'm grappling you can just see me either do a slash, you can also taunt and block. Which are like, oh. What's that? Among what us? I yeah. you instantly recognized the noise. I was like, what was that? Of course, I love Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's not optimal to cancel it with a slash. That was the only way to do it in the first game. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's not optimal because sometimes you don't want to slash at the same time. Like you want to save your slash and there's mm. like a small cooldown. So you can do it by taunting or blocking. Taunting is like really funny. You can do this. Look at that. There, oh, flick. I should not. CSGO have knife flicks. <laughs> yeah. Every time I get a kill in CSGO. <laughs> yeah, uh, flipping my butterfly fade. Yeah, every time. Around with Crimson Web. Crimson Web, uh, Ruby Knife, Dragon Lore. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to be at the end of this level here, and then we're gonna get to the best part of the game. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Looking forward to this? Yep. 
Are you looking forward to it? I am. Uh, Absolutely. I'm going to join in. Yeah. <laughs> audience participation, except it's just Crow. Does that make it count as a, uh, a co-op speedrun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Why not? Can we ask them to make another leaderboard <laughs> for co-op runs? Yeah. Uh, can we get the <laughs> category change? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We're, we're, we're doing it. I really don't want to. Actually. You don't want to? Okay, fine. No, not, not for no, this no. level. I want, no, no, no. I, no I, all good, all good. I need spacing. Let for me know level. when you want to tag me in. <laughs> yeah, yeah for, for the later level, it's fine. But, yeah. Uh, what we're talking about is this. It's the, the motorcycle level, which is a glorified auto-scroller, basically. It is really cool and really fun. You can sort of do these tiny boosts that he's doing right now. Because normally you can do, you know, one long boost to gain a bunch of speed, but you can sort of tap boost the entire time. You can almost maintain top speed the entire time if you, like, space them out enough. So uh, you're actually sort of doing, like, little tiny strategic presses of the boost. And there's also, like, a, there, there is a top speed in the game, but whenever you dash, you gain, like, a tiny bit of speed. Or dash, whenever you use the boost, you gain a tiny bit of speed. So you can go over the top speed and go very fast. Hmm. Also, the tunes for this level are just absolutely bopping. Oh, yeah. Tunes are... Tunes in this game in general, like oh yeah, bah. oh nice. Oh, bump. Um, oh, I hit checkpoint. It's fine. <laughs> Lost Wi-Fi signal. Yeah. <laughs> so we're tracing Mitra right now because of uh, story reasons. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, there's a little timer at the top. There a bar where if we go slow, it just goes aha, you failed. Yeah. Wow. Wi-Fi connection lost. Yeah. Well, we're in this section. Mind if I get a few more donos in? Absolutely. Go thank, for it. Thank you very much. Again, we're getting so many donations. So much love for this run. Yes. Massim, uh, Maslim donates $50, doubled to 100 No comment, but grab themselves the Goosebert shirt. Uh, the Don Abriano donates $10. Says, time for the first ESA of the year. Greetings from the UK. An anonymous donated $50, doubled up to 100 No comment on that one, but got themselves the ESA winter shirt as well. Time for more? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Sweet, just let me, know when to stop. let me know when to stop then, because we got loads. Agent Orange donates $10, says, Ghost Runner 2 is one of my favorite games from last year. The soundtrack is amazing, and we can hear that soundtrack, just like the first game. Good luck on the run. Thank you. <laughs> Neflin also donates $5, doubled up to $10. Thank you very much for that donation. And Princess Necco Cakes donates $50, doubled to $100. I won a Switch from ESA a couple of years ago and donated it to a child at Christmas time. Oh, Here's to hoping I can win the PS5 this time as well. So sweet of you to do that. Thank you very much for your amazing donations, everyone. Keep them coming in. There is still, if I check, $120 of Skemby's money to go and take. <laughs> can somebody buy me a plane ticket home? I won't be back today. No, 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 no. You'll live. Huge nice freeze. <laughs> nice, nice <loading laughs> yeah, we're, we're loading in the second part of this level now, and there's like a little cutscene where we, oh, go on the side of the wall. Mm -hmm. So sick. I mean, this is actually a pretty sick part of the game. I yeah, think this was in the demo too, right? This motorcycle section? Uh, no, this part wasn't. Oh. But, uh, oh, right. It cut like right before. Yeah, they it did like a super cool one-liner, and then it like, as you jump out the window. Oh, uh, I didn't get the, the oh, 360. No, no flip. There's a reload, reload. <laughs> <laughs> That's too late. There. Yeah, you got a checkpoint. There's a sweet uh, 360 you can do there by hitting the, the side of the wall and getting like a bug. Because mm -hmm. the, the the bike is quite like, the physics are very buggy. Mm -hmm. So by if you hit things in a certain way, you go flying. So uh, if you if you hit that wall like in the nice way, you get a, a sick 360 that I wanted to do, but can't always get what you want. Yeah. Also, I think we s I said earlier that it's effectively a, an auto splitter, which is not really fair enough to the game because this is actually a section that you can uh, lose a lot of time on if you mess it up because there is a lot of things that can kill you here. Like crashing into anything is more or less a one hit kill. All these enemies on the path are a one hit kill. There's a lot of stuff that can actually go wrong here. So this is a part where you actually really do need to focus on the driving. Yeah, like it's. It's hard to go faster, you can, if you optimize your boost presses a lot and like really space them out and get nice hit, uh, like tight racing lines. But uh, it's hard to go faster and it's very easy to lose time, so it's quite frustrating. And that was uh, I Won't Be Back Today. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool level. Really sweet level. I oh, know the next next level is so good. I I love the next level actually. Mm -hmm. Like we went to the desolate. 
or Winds of Desolation. Winds of the Desolate. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's so sweet. Yeah. It's actually so sweet. I think the entire first game takes part, place inside that giant tower that we just escaped. Meanwhile, in this game, you actually spend a lot of time on the outside world, which is sort of in like a fallout kind of state where everything is just in yeah absolute broken state. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, everything's just broken down. Humans haven't lived here for like hundreds of years. Really, really cool. Completely barren, lifeless, for sure. So yeah, now we can jump off the bike because this uh, level exists both as a bike level and as an on foot level. Mm. So if you jump off the bike while boosting, you like sort of keep the boost going. Trademark. That's that's uh, certified like explanation. Oh yeah. You keep going when jump off bike. You keep going when jump off bike. <laughs> so you go like very fast. Inertia. Yeah, yeah. You accelerate very fast. So like whenever I get on a bike. Like that. <laughs> that was like the most comical bonk I've ever heard. Played like a bonk noise. Yeah. What was, what was, like, what's up with that? Oh. But yeah, whenever you jump off the bike, like you're gonna see me jumping off and jumping back on quite a lot, especially in the air, because that also gives you like a speed boost for some reason. I wish I knew. Like I. But it's it's super cool and like it's really fun to do. Yeah, it makes it more interactive, these driving sections too, where you would think you would normally just go straight, but you can actually do a bunch more to speed it up even more. Yeah. So now we gotta pick up this memory shard. Yep. Uh, specifically, we're getting these memory shards, so he unlocks a new ability here, which is this blink ability that he just got to use right here. So it's really well thought out. He's gonna climb up to the top of this little... Up, up this wall, up to a window up here. There's going to be an enemy that he can use the blink ability on to sort of phase through a fence and like skip an entire section. So here, line up a blink, right through that wall, skipping several arenas and like saving several minutes of having to normally run all the way around that area. Yeah, so that's one of the like gate skips. I think they're called maybe. And one of the big skips in Winds of the Desolate where you can go completely. Uh, or like there's a gate where you need to go on foot and do a bunch of things and you can just skip to the end of the gate. On every single one actually. <laughs> Big skip coming up too, the motorcycle. Oh yeah, this, is, this skip is so easy. Gonna jump off this edge here, jump off this bike to get the speed boost, nail that jump and oh, so clean with it, make it on top of this highway here. Skipping again, just another big part of this map here. Run forward, get a checkpoint, and just respawn on the motorcycle. Yeah. That skip's kind of, like, kind of scary to go for, because the checkpoint's a bit mm. away. So if you mess it up, you're going to lose, like, I don't know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of that stuff in this game where if you're just like, oh, you messed up one uh, checkpoint, oh, <laughs> go back a minute, Lamau. Yeah. Because it's out of bounds, so we're skipping a lot of checkpoints, and we're doing stuff very... Uh, very intentional. Yeah, another skip coming here. Here he's going to do a jump with the bike to land on this platform specifically. Bike is flying. You see that? Bike was stuck in the air. <laughs> yeah, it does that. <laughs> oh, all the time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I didn't it's... get a dash reset there. It... Oh. But if you get off the bike, like, in the midair when it's slow... Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. I don't need that. Yeah, you're effectively doing this jump here and landing on a platform way higher than where you're supposed to be. So you're putting the bike up there, but you don't want to ditch the bike completely. You want it to land up here, so when you open this gate, you can then go back onto your bike. I'm gonna die to this guy right don't, now. Don't get bozoed. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you get bozoed! No! <laughs> it's alright, we get to do it again. Yeah. But these guys, I don't like these guys. Yeah, the, the Dark Souls skeleton wheel man guys are yeah, the yeah. worst. Uh, flashbacks from uh, Dark Souls 1. <laughs> My favorite enemy. Oh, yes. While you're quickly redoing this, do you mind if I jump in with some really good news? Yeah, 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 please. Everyone that's watching has been donating really hard, and I am very pleased to say that because of that, Skenmi donates $1,000. Huge. 42 minutes they managed to claim the 1000 Skenmi, thank you so much for your generosity on that one. That's massive. 
so yeah, the, those enemies, I don't know, bike enemies, awful. Yeah. They, they shoot you and they snipe you like really well. Yeah. CSGO professional player or something. Makes it even worse because you're driving straight at them and they're just shooting at a straight line more or less right into your face. So yeah, like it gets really awkward to dodge. There's not really a lot you can do a lot of the, or most of the time. You're just sort of going straight and hoping for the best. So here we're just gonna, there's an arena here, but if you just go out here, like, oh. Yeah, back in bounce here, whoops. Oh, yeah, yeah. End, uh, end of level. No. Oh yeah, there's the cyber void, and then it's the end of the section of the level. Yes. So now we have like a minute long cyber void, and the cyber void is hard. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a few routes, and by a few I mean there's the real route, and then there's my route. Oh yeah. And the real route gets like no checkpoints throughout the entire thing. Oh yeah, we're, we're not doing that jump. <laughs> oh yeah, these, uh, you can sort of see them, the outside pillars here on this level are sort of moving up and down a whole bunch, which makes them really, really awkward to do movement on and do dashes off of. So for the most part, on like, you know, really optimized runs you would do at home, you would want to like try to do jumps off of those, but they're just so annoying to pull off. Yeah. So we're trying to play it safe here. Two hours ago. Yeah, and I'd rather not spend like three hours here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, well, oh. brain turn off? Other way I like though. to climb here. Wrong turn. <laughs> yeah, I need to turn on brain and like play the game. <laughs> yeah, here we're doing just. You're supposed to go around and do a bunch of movement, but you can just go straight. As with like the entirety of this game, you can usually just sort of go straight. Yeah, this is where you use the uh, the tempest ability to sort of push back a bunch of these blocks and these uh, these edges all over the place. This is sort of like supposed to be the Tempest tutorial, I think. Oh yeah, but we've done like, skip 80% of it basically or no. by just doing jumps. No. You get, you get it way earlier, but you just... You get it really it. early, and yeah. then, you, then it's like, I'm gonna wait here. You can dash over there and climb, but like, I'm gonna wait here for yeah, a yeah, second. Yeah. But you get Tempest really early, and there are like a bunch of Tempest tutorials, but uh, we skip all of those. <laughs> this is the first time we like actually use Tempest mm -hmm. in the run. Oh yeah, this part's uh, like really tough, yeah? Yeah. Tempest is actually a really, really useful ability, especially later in the run, but we'll, we'll get to that. It really sort of... It's one of the abilities that really cracks open the game. Yeah. In the last, like, what, two levels? Three levels. You get, oh, you yeah, get three, it, le three levels, yeah. Yeah, you get it three levels from the end, you get an upgrade that makes Tempest, like, really good. Mm. But uh, that's not super relevant for any no. percent. For NG+, Plus, like, uh, the, game's, the game's crazy. So here we open this gate, and then... This level is really long. Yeah, casually, yeah. that is. This level took me, I think, 30 minutes casually. Yeah, you're supposed to, uh, once you get past this highway section here, you sort of get introduced to this bridge that you can see in the distance with these giant like metal snakes on it. You're supposed to open this you're bridge up, but then uh, you're supposed to go to like three different areas, do a bunch of cyber void, do a bunch of arenas, and unlock like the bridge bit by bit. But if you just launch yourself off the bike to so over to the other side of the bridge and just infinite climb all the way over, you can just... Yeah, you can just go to the end. Looks like it can't be open for me. Yeah, because this level's like it's a, it's a giant like sort of open world exploration yeah, level. You go to three towers and do shit. Mm -hmm. But you just oh, oh yeah. end. Just be easy peasy. Easy. This place might be swarming with. So now something lurks in the sand. Oh, this is hard skip. Very hard skip. Hard skip. Big focus. Oh, you don't watch classics? Do you even watch anything? Okay, that's oh. attempt one gone. Yeah, he's trying to do a precise jump where you have to normally go straight on the road here, but he's immediately doing a U-turn onto this off-road terrain here. Intentional route, as you can see. Ah. Can you save that? Surely this is save saveable. No. Okay. No. It's really, really annoying, because during this section where he's driving in this out-of-bounds terrain, it sort of stops your movement, so if you get stuck on anything, it's really hard to get going again. So you kind of have to do it in one go from the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, Say, uh, pick a number. Uh, four. Okay. What's the number? Uh, uh the, I, I just wanted you to pick a number. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was the first jump. There are three. Uh, the first one is by far the hardest. <clears throat> but I can still mess this up. No, 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 this is fine. Yeah, that's good. And now the last jump, we need to now clip back inbound. So there are a few spots that work. I like to aim for uh, this place right here because it yeah. usually clips me right in. Like Perfect. That. Very nice. Yeah, so that that skips a bunch of the driving section for the early bit of that level. 
this is like actually quite a significant skip. Yeah. I think even with those mistakes, I didn't lose that much time, if any. Mm -hmm. There, you sort of start almost halfway into this chase. There's currently a boss fight on going. I think I guess it counts as a boss fight. Yeah, it is a boss fight. There's a giant like metal Pro. worm chasing you right now. Pro. And, oh yeah, you want to move? Yeah, cool. Cool, I'll play through. Here we go. So yeah, this entire level is mostly uh, pressing shift in intervals like this, and then sometimes turning left and then turning right. Yeah. Until the boss, which is I'm famously really good at it. Oh yeah. Yeah. How do I kill it? I forgot you jump in with some really important info. Oh, please do. Thank you so much, ES, because we've got some new rewards open and some new targets as well. You can choose the reward. $50, first one to claim it. Risk of Rain 2 character choice. Which character will Hanky play as? You can write your choice in your donation comment. Choose between Goku, Vegeta, same as Aaron, or Ganondorf. And the other one is for tomorrow's train simulator run for Popita. You can choose the train. Which one will you choose to choose? to lead Popter's foray into the dollar percent run. There's loads of options there. I'm not going to read them out because I don't know trains personally. Got three new targets open as well. Super Princess Peach, the mini game at Speedrun Showcase. $500 to raise on that target. Hades Extreme Measures for $1,000 for that one. We're at $80 already. And the Princess Peach Cosplay, also $1,000 needed. $50 currently raised. Remember, you can put yours towards both a reward and a target. Your donations go further at this ESA. Oh, that was that was that was a bit hairy, but we <laughs> saved it, no problem. Yeah. So uh, basically, if you go too fast there, which you do by uh, tapping shift, the snake that's usually supposed to—it's a worm—that's usually supposed to like uh, spawn at a certain point, spawns earlier, or like it spawns. I don't know. It spawns too early. There's a hitbox whenever it spawns where you just like die unless you go really far right or really far left. But if you go really far left, there's like a there's a little rock you can hit and then you bug off of that rock and get air time and then you can start turning into the wall in a panic. Yeah. And you hit the wall and you die and you go back to the checkpoint. Uh, you always die to it so much during runs. So yeah. annoying. All right, so this is uh, these cycles are consistent? Question mark. Yeah. Do you want to take over for the boost for these? Ooh. Nail that. Uh, no, one. no. Well, this We're fine. this is working fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the cycles uh, are quite annoying. I think they're global timed. I uh, don't quote me on that. I'm making something up, which sounds good. But they they're different every time for me because I'm not very good. So, uh, they are very easy to just drive into, like brain yeah. off, just yeah, drive like straight into a saw blade. You see the wall coming and you just don't want to turn. Brain off, like oh, I must go straight. <laughs> straight fast, please. Who are you? Why? Why'd you get boosted? I thought you were going to make it. <laughs> I just went over them. <laughs> okay. Oh, you went too fast. You're sort of driving for each of the weak spots during this tunnel section here, but yeah, we were a bit too fast and like flew over them. Yeah, we flew over too many weak spots so we couldn't actually hit them mm -hmm. and uh, we just hit the wall and... Uh... <laughs> I'm loving this amazing co-op speed running right here. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, very, very high octane. Lots of practice. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the Trackmania lines. Uh, yeah. True Div 5 player right here. <laughs> Div 4, Div, Div 4. 4. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I need to get it right. <laughs> Should we get a few donations in while we? Oh doing please, this? please. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Stop me if you like. We still got loads to get through. Monojiro donates forty dollars during the donation match, which made it eighty. Thank you to Exquisite Entertainers for an endlessly enjoyable exhibition of expeditious excellence. I hope I said all that right. Mainly Mave donated forty dollars as well with no comment, but bagged themselves an ESA Winter shirt on that one. Cringe Dad donated $50 as best wishes to Iverson. Got themselves a Gooseberg shirt as well. And Anaki Emmy donated $40, doubled up to AG and said, Oh, so to get to. Uh, <laughs> oh, so I get to take Skenmi's money and get a t shirt. Didn't he mind if I day? Thank you very much, Emmy, for that one. Sweet. So, yeah, that was something lurks in the sand. Mm -hmm. It's. Uh, the start's really hard and then it just turns into the bike level where you turn brain off and die. Yeah. So now we're back uh, to the first level. 
Yeah, did you restart the game? Yeah, new game. Oh, new game plus, bro. New game just dropped. <laughs> Ghost Runner 2. Hi, I'm Yisk. Uh, this is Cropax. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, Ghost Runner number two, the second. The second. What the hell is happening? It's pretty, pretty e good Everything game. is supposed to be like this, of course. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, this level is mind games. Mm -hmm. So you can see in the top right. Oh, whoa. Why, why do whoa, I just... what's happening? Whoa. whoa, crazy. What's going on? This bit's not. Did you patch the game? This bit's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't have started it. So, yeah, we're basically trapped in like an illusion or something, Cyber Void. Mm hmm. We're, uh, we're playing over the memories of the first level over and over and over and over again until, I don't know, time's over? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're trapped by this guy, Maru, and then Mitra, which are like the two, two of the bad guys in the, uh, in the main story right now, which you're trying to track down right now. But yeah, they uh, trap your brain in the cyber void, so you're trying to like, break out by uh, discovering a bunch of secrets from the past. And then it introduces some of these new mechanics, where there is... Like some gravity flip tubes, kind of similar to the ones from like Portal 2. Have you ever played that? You go into like those gravity wells? No? Okay, uh, never mind. No, I played it. Man. You did? Okay. Yeah, of course. This is a great game. You were like, shaking your head like oh, Portal 2? Uh, yeah, I figured I might as well. <laughs> so yeah, there's some puzzles and then an arena spawn after some uh, dialogue, story, plot, lore. I'm not walking out of here alive. So we're gonna stand like where the enemies spawn. And then we remember where they spawn. Copium. You're so we can right, kill them all quite fast. Out of here. You have no idea and then we have to wait for dialogue. Oh yeah. If you think I'd let you off that easily. Don't reset here. What? Take him away. Don't extend the dialogue. Solid zero, solitary, <laughs> and get started on tracking down I think they patched family. that. I'm actually Let's not sure. Oh, they did? Uh, yeah. Maybe. It sort of becomes a muscle memory by the end of the game that you want to like reset almost after every arena because it's... 90% of the time, it's just better to either regenerate stamina or just be in a more favorable position. But for that one, you go to the exact same spot, except you just sort of restart the cutscene a little bit. Yeah. You just have to watch it even more. Yeah, it used to like actually restart the entire cutscene. Or it felt like that. Yeah. So you had to wait for, I don't know, 30 extra seconds by just pressing R at the end of an arena, which is like, ooh, funny. Hmm. So here we're going, not out, not out of bounds, but we're cutting through a part of the level to get to basically the last gravity switch mm -hmm. before the uh, secondary, which is right here. And also, uh, Rahu is the guy who trapped us in here. He's like a hacker man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you remember from uh, You Shouldn't Have Peaked, level earlier that was also in the cyber void uh same guy that's the guy we killed but not really same dude yeah he fake died yeah fine so here we uh sit here wait for dialogue to finish it's not actually dialogue dependent thankfully it's just based on a timer so otherwise if you go too fast then like it doesn't actually start the dialogue until uh, all the current dialogue's finished well, so you can go too fast for the dialogue, but you want me to mince his brain instead of augmenting it. Yeah. Excellent. So there we use flux to just wipe out those two enemies time, mostly, because they're far they're away and they're annoying. Mob, eager for our blood, and, we and then here we do some uh, that, this is the movement. Oh yeah, this is Not the movement. Opponent. The movement. He was a thief. So now, now we get these platforms. So inertia is a thing in this game. Where if you uh, do DS chase, yeah, exactly off of platforms, you get the same momentum that the platform had, which you can use to, if you get an SDS chase, like you go fall. Oh yeah, you just skip like half of this platforming area basically. Yeah, which I'm trying to do here, but I didn't get it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right then, what are we looking at? And then here we need an SDS chase, surely. Yeah, 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 easy, easy. What's really cool about these uh, these sections with the grab with the gravity well that switches the uh, the terrain around is even if you don't hit those gravity wells, the well the level is still there. So if you can find a way to traverse the level without hitting those, you can sort of traverse it wrong but still complete the level, which is actually kind of cool. So you're sort of playing the level upside down sometimes, which I believe we'll be doing for after this arena. There's like one bit of a stage where you're sort of doing it, I yeah. think where it's normally sideways, but you can still just go to the end, no problem. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, this is like I, I really like this level, except for the uh, yeah, this part. part. 
which makes the level really long. Like, there's a lot of cool movement tra uh, tricks and tech, and the routes are cool. And there's also like a strat you can do where you, uh, what is it? You uh, get another ability earlier on in the game and get like a speed boost. Where are the enemies? There. This is a Kropak certified strat. I usually don't do this at home, but I figured... Yeah, you just stand still. in the middle, just swing wildly yeah. until you kill all three guys. <laughs> yeah, so I don't actually know exactly where they spawn. every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It worked. Yeah, see? Yeah. You made it sound like it was a bad thing? Oh, Kropak certified? Kropak, no. I, I could tell the sass in your voice. No, it's Kropak certified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I almost missed that. <laughs> Yeah, I have a, like, I said this uh, to a crow quite a bit earlier. I have so many excuses lined up for this run. Like, uh, so I think that's one of them probably, the crow pack certified. Mm -hmm. It's one excuse. Uh, we'll get to some more later, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll be there for sure. There's the, there's going to be some stuff to mauled over for sure. Yeah, yeah. So here, the game wants you to pick up that uh, gravity well. So you can just go straight here and not pick it up and then skip straight over to the final gravity well of the section. And boom. Thanks. So, uh, last puzzle here. You want to respawn to get the cycle proper. And then... Get that. There. There. And then we're gonna start moving over to the spawn. So there are three enemies on this arena, and it's, I, 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 this arena feels really cool to do well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just kill them so fast. Yeah. There's what? There's two gunbozos and the robot, right? Yeah, exactly. So they, there's gonna be one that spawns there, and then I'm gonna go through the teleporter, and it's gonna look the same, and I'm gonna throw another shuriken and kill this like. The second guy that spawns, and then I'm gonna dash down and kill the robot. Mm. And now I'm not gonna do that because, uh, oh yeah, oh, so clean. Yeah, it feels really nice to do. It's not hard at all. Yeah. It, it just I, I like how it feels. like an anime samurai killing them before they're even there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, important like story here. You like the story? Yeah. Yeah. You won't die. I like the part where Matthew Mercer, the voice actor, screams. <laughs> oh, we should be getting to that. No, we, we missed that, right? Yeah, that was yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay, Mention that. Mention the screaming. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of mind games. We're just gonna Are you done already? move really slowly and uh, go across this giant field towards the avatar. Who's like our friend now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're boys. Yeah, yeah, the homie. Yeah, we killed him once, he forgave us. We're chill yeah. now. <laughs> so now we're on a uh, final bike level. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's one trick on this level. My one contribution to this game. Where I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Right there. <laughs> Screenshot it. <laughs> is that a screenshot? There. <laughs> Uh, that death's not costly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Funny death. <laughs> that was for the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Trust. So, uh, keyboard actuation force is different than at home. And <laughs> but. Excuses. <laughs> nah. So, yeah, what was I saying? My one contribution to this game? Yeah. Yeah, coming up here in a second. The Someone else found a strat type. and I found a better way of doing it. <laughs> yeah. Classic. But yeah, as you know, Flux uh, has basically infinite range. Mm -hmm. And there's a cutscene coming up that's kind of uh, cringe. Yeah, there's a bunch of motorcycle bozos that spawn up here, but you can just sort of laser them from far away and just kill them before they even get to do their cutscene and just bypass that entire section. Yeah, pick up the checkpoint, reset warp, and then you're back on the bike. And we're going to be doing that, hopefully, on this part as well. Now there are two bike bozos. And we kill both of them, get a slowdown, and just reset warp slightly further ahead. Mm. This is another one of those levels where there are enemies in your path and they shoot at you and yeah. you die. It just happens. It's, yeah. it's hard to do much about, but... There's a lot of jumping off the bike and dashing and then jumping off the bike. And like, gaining speed, going fast. 
And if you have any messages now, Hugs. Absolutely, I do. Guess what? Monojiro donated another $25, doubled up to 50 to say, Hello, Yiskin Crow Pack. Thank you to Exquisite Entertainers for an endlessly enjoyable exhibition of expeditious excellence. I nearly butchered that one word. I probably did. Praskoo donated $15. Says, Forza Yesk, La Grande Machina is waiting for your return. That one went to the Hades Extra Measures 4 target. And at Carnis donates $50. No comment, but grab themselves an ESA winter shirt and also put it towards the Princess Peach cosplay. Hang on, thank you. Grande Machina, Forza Ferrari. Ah, it is Machina. Yes. I can never tell with that one. It's, uh, it's Italian. So yeah, the, there's a little trick you can do there if you want to. I, I'm not convinced it saves time. Oh, it's like barely anything if it does. Yeah, where you uh, jump off the bike and you pick up a checkpoint and then you respawn warp. But like the check, you just drive like around a tiny wall. Mm. You can do it. There's also uh, here. There's a funny trick that, like, does it save time? Maybe. Where you just cut a corner, but the checkpoint's way back there. So if you mess it up, which is like almost impossible to do, yeah, you don't pick up the checkpoint and uh, or yeah, you have to respawn back to the checkpoint. And it's like ooh, 30 seconds. Mm. Yeah, this is this little cut right here. Cool. And then here you can go way too fast and hit the roof there. Yeah. So I'm not going to jump off there intentionally. Alright, this is the end of the bike section. Yep, so now we're going to have a small on foot section. Where you're supposed to go around the right side here and do like a bunch of movement. But, as you know, inertia exists. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, you clearly did On there. Display. Inertia just disappeared. So you can jump up here, and then jump up here, and flash over here, and that's that part, part done. And now we have the final arena, and there are these challenges, like side challenges, that you're supposed to do after the arenas, but this one's just for some reason active before, yeah. and if you activate the challenge and then immediately quit out of the menu, you just get the checkpoint for the next arena, or for after the arena, mm -hmm. so the door's open, so you just go to the end of the level. All right, dense macabre time. Yep. Boss fight, hard boss fight, or it's really hard to, or easy to mess up, I should say. It has three phases that you can sort of differentiate by color. There's red, green, and blue. He's in green phase right now, which is sort of where he closes down and summons a bunch of minions. You have to kill these green towers that you see here, and he sort of alternates between them, so it's like red, green, blue, red, green, blue. So now he's in blue. Blue and red are not really a huge issue. You just kind of dodge his attacks and then you just keep slicing him. Green is the annoying part. Yeah, so green, the towers have a, like a shield around them. Let's see where they spawn there. Yeah. They have a shield around them, so you have to... Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I figured I was going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, what he's trying to do here is he's trying to line up the uh, the combo meter, which you can sort of see like down in the uh, the left hand corner. There's a combo meter where once you get to a certain number of combo, you get this purple attack that you just saw him use there that you can actually use to hit the towers through their energy shield. But what you want to do is you want to kill one tower normally, but then stack enough combo points to get that sword attack, and then line up the remaining towers with the uh, with like the long range sword attack to do them all in one go. So you don't actually have to normally do the towers. Oh, this is, oh, yeah. yeah, that one's a bit awkward to line up because one tower was one in one corner. And yeah, one no, I, uh, I accidentally reflected a bullet, which is not great for the route. I'm usually supposed to pick up the tower, pick up one tower with four combo points remaining, and then kill another enemy. Because there are four enemies around. The I mean, tower. you did it. Three green phase is by far the hardest one. So if you just can do it, then yeah, if you get through it fine. without dying, then that's just. Great. Yeah, 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 red and blue are just not a non-issue. Yeah, so he <laughs> yeah, non-issue, <laughs> non-issue except when the boss decides to just animation yeah. cancel you. Yeah, that's very good. Macabre. Remember shopping here? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, 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 this is where you want to do the shopping for the um, the ability that we were talking about earlier, um, where we're gonna start doing a T of two soldier rocket jumping, which is absolutely broken in this game. Yeah, so here's uh, also another instance of uh, the sort of upgrade thing, where if you uh, surround that specific upgrade with other upgrades, 
you get here. more knockback <laughs> on your really rocket really jump, like which lets you go even higher. Which, because energy instantly regenerates when you're out of combat, and Tempest only uses energy, if you look down, you can do this. Fully, fully intended. Yeah, and you, you can just immediately, when you leave the level, just spam it against the floor and just get out of bounds. Like, yeah. like off you go. <laughs> so here, we're going to line up like right around here. Line up right around, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Easy. And now we're out of bounds, and now we're going to hit a checkpoint that's right here. Goofy run. <laughs> <laughs> so now, that, yeah, you just hit a checkpoint that's just super far up in the air, so you just skip like half the level in like two seconds. Yeah, that level's, uh, that's like the, actually one of the last checkpoints in the level. Mm -hmm. So we go from the start to the end. You used to have to do like a really long windy path, but someone just found out that, oh, there's just, <laughs> the checkpoint's just there. So now we're gonna boost up against this wall, TF2. You're good at this, right? You yeah, yeah, so, yeah, TF2, favorite game. Are you soldier main? Oh, uh, no, engineer. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Dane. <laughs> do you uh, at least do like uh, turret jumps? Ah, yeah. oh, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Funny sentry. <laughs> <laughs> so there we clip out a, or we go back out of bounds here, over this wall. And then the end level, you're supposed to uh, clear like an elevator shaft so you can get up there and then hit that. Did we just hit that from out of bounds and then use shadow to not be seen by these robots and hit the end of the level? Yeah, easy peasy. And shadow, that was the ability that we just completely skipped way, way earlier in the game and now it just comes in clutch right there. Yeah, so now we're approaching the last, like, the last two levels of the run. So if there's anything to be read, now is the perfect time. Absolutely, thank you, yes. Yorkie donated $50, which got doubled up to 100 who says, wish I could be there snapping pics of you all, but that might have to wait until summer. Here's $50 to make other people's wishes come true. Less than three. And Yorkie grabbed themselves a Goosebert shirt. Akoma donated $40, said, so if I'm donating $40 to get a shirt, and Skenmi matches the donation. Does he get another shirt too? Sadly not. No, it's not the way it works, I'm afraid. But all the love to Skenmi, less than three. And finally, we had a $50 donation from Anonymous, who just says, Honk. Perfect. So yeah, this level we get, ooh. This is very difficult for us. This level we get a wingsuit, which is like kind of cool. You get to fly around. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's a max speed on the wingsuit. Yeah. So you just go. You usually fly faster by just tempest boosting on walls. Mm. But it's it's good for tighter movement, more precision. Oh, yeah. It's good for going down mm. specifically because, uh, as you might like, as you might be able to guess, hard to go down when you're up in the air with a ton of momentum. Mm -hmm. Also, just really, really good to just narrowly escape like down through shafts, like right here for this section here. You can tempest boost down here, but having to fly through these vents here and then dodge the electric water beneath you can get kind of yeah, crazy. So you just just wingsuit through it. Yeah, like you can definitely do it, uh, but it's at the end of a run, and I'd rather not. I'll yeah. <laughs> so here, this arena, uh, just kill that guy. Slice the bozo, slice the robot, get combo, snipe that guy, boom, easy, easy arena. Here we just go oob real quick, so we can uh, skip a wall that exists up here, instead of this area. Yeah, you can almost tell right now, Tempest just absolutely breaks these last couple levels, being able to boost like this, you can just go anywhere instantly. Yeah, and it doesn't help that these levels are also like super open, mm -hmm. just by default. So you can just really go flying. Bang Down. tunes here as well on this last level, or second to last level. Yeah. Pick up that checkpoint to load in the next part of the level. How do you rate our chances? And here we just fly through this. So I, I don't like this arena. Oh yeah. This is another flux arena. We have to snipe a bunch of enemies 50 miles away with the uh, flux ability. And you want to hit as many as possible as you can in one single go. Optimally, all those enemies on the left side, left side. Nice. Hit the snipe on this robot here. Nice. Get the laser bozo there, snipe this guy. Ooh, Ooh clean, nice. nice, nice, nice. Very clean. Thank you, thank you. I'm not good at that arena at all, unfortunately, so I'm happy I got it second try. Yeah, hitting those flux lasers can always be a little awkward because it is like very precise, like sniping just the pixel man you can see in the distance. Yeah. 
So we're skipping. We're skipping a lot of the game. If you didn't like, if you couldn't see that already, we're skipping quite a a lot of arenas, a lot of puzzles because Tempest is just kind of broken. Mm -hmm. Here, the last arena, we just fly under the door and then go out of bounds here to the end level trigger. And now, final boss. Final boss. Final Mitra. boss. Mitra. I don't like Mitra. This is a slot machine. Mm -hmm. No. So it's the attacks Mitra does is effectively RNG. Not effectively, they actually, it just straight up is. Yeah, there's like certain attacks that you really want. You can parry most of the sort of direct attacks that he does, and whenever you perfectly parry an attack, you almost, you get the uh, the super attack that you can do and do a lot of damage to him. But if he does any other attack where he sort of jumps around and does some like ninja stuff, you really don't want that because it takes longer before you can start properly damaging him again. Here's a phase three skip. Nice. Basically catch him before he moves away, so you skip a lot of platforming. You can do that on all three phases. Uh, do I go for phase two skip? Yeah, well, come on, come, come on, on, come on! Don't make him do Xbox attack. Yeah, no, Xbox. No, bad. Xbox, Xbox off. Xbox turn off. <laughs> uh, I, this is a skip uh, with the chest, like a really elaborate setup. And I'm not good at this, like, at all. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it is a bit dicey, but it saves a lot of time. Normally on the left side here, you have to go through this entire long gauntlet where you have to chase down the boss. But by going around the right side here, you skip the trigger that makes the boss sort of progress further into the level. So by jumping around here, you can intercept him on his travel path. And if you just hit him at the exact perfect timing, you can skip this entire chase gauntlet here. Still get sniped by him, though. Yeah, he still has great aim, because uh, of course he does. Yeah, and this is where you have to start intercepting him, which gets really, really... Yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm not very practiced with this, because I usually don't get it. Oh! There. Snipe. Oh, he's so insane. Uh, that one feels really nice to get, because you're just sniping him mid-air while he's moving, like, quite fast. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. I there couldn't you go. see anything there. Yeah, he, he spams a lot of abilities, which just makes it so hard to see. And now there's also the, like, level hazard. Nice. There we go. All right, so last phase, or last uh, parkour bit. You can do a skip here, which never works, because he always just does that. Mm. But if you're fast enough, you can Tempest boost over to him and then get him and skip all of this. But unfortunately, um, I didn't get it. But this, boom, final hit. And you'd think time here? No. No, 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 no. We have to go back to the hub. Yeah, yeah. We have to finish the lore. Real quick yap session. <laughs> And it's time to pay the price. Yeah. That, was yeah, a, that, was that was a pretty good, good meter fight, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that was really, Not mad really at good. That. No, no, no. So yeah, we gotta talk to Akira. We gotta talk to, uh... Oh yeah, we can do shoutouts now. I forget shoutouts because I never do them. Yeah, shoutouts to the devs. They had a really, really cool competition for this game when it launched. They did a uh, $10,000 uh, like giveaway competition for effectively two weeks. Well, not giveaway. It was a competition speedrunning where you, uh, the top times uh, split $10,000 between them, which was really, really cool and really uh, made the game super hyped to play for the first few weeks. Yeah. Really, really better, sweet. Man. So yeah, a shout out Crow for being here. I wouldn't Thank be you. able to do this without him. Shout out to you for being here, yeah. being you. Thank you. I wouldn't be able to be me without me. Yeah, exactly. And time. Time. <laughs> good run. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. So yeah, that's me. I'm Yisk. That's Crow. Uh, Twitch television Crow. Uh, Twitch television Yisk. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>